Houston, it's time to play ball. That's right, the road ends here. It is Final Four weekend, and we are live with Houston Happens at Final Four Fan Fest. The show starts now. Blechner here with this special edition of Houston Happens. You know this blonde always gives you an action-packed Friday. And this Friday is extra special. We are live at Final Four Fan Fest. You might recognize this guy from earlier this week. Tony, thanks so much for waking up with us again. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here again. I can't believe it's here. I, I feel like the well, anticipation. So today, yeah, I know. Absolutely. So that entrance in and of itself gave me chills. Pretty cool. Pretty spectacular. Yes. Yeah, huh? So yeah. tell us a little bit about Fan Fest and what we're going to experience. Yeah, so it starts today. Uh, doors open at noon, 11 a.m. if you're a Capital One card holder member. So you can get in uh, early access with everybody. Uh, tickets are as low as uh, $8 if you buy online, uh, 10 if you come at the door, uh, 12 and under are free. If you have a Capital One card, you are free. If you have tickets to the game, show those you're free. Uh, military Appreci Appreciation Day is on Saturday. Uh, proper ID gets you yourself and three others in. And then finally, if you have Astro tickets or Rockets tickets, show that stub and you get in free as well. So plenty of options, plenty of free ways to get in here. I love it. And of course, we have all of this information on our website, CW39.com. How big is this? I mean, it is huge in here. It is huge. I can't even explain how, but you have to come down here and experience it yourself to see how much there is packed in this building. It is unbelievable. So our first stop, if you will, is the Chuck stop. So tell me about this. This is awesome. Yeah, so it's a play on their commercial. Have you ever seen the Capital yeah. One commercial with Chuck? So come on over here. You can chill in the cooler. Uh, they have a semi over there. You can get a selfie, put on a trucker hat, and just have fun and relax and hang out. So everything's really interactive here. Absolutely. You Everything's interactive. Everything is free once you get in the door. Uh, tons of swag, tons of giveaways. So plenty to offer. And I think our other friend is over here. We're going to walk towards the Coke Zero. So tell me a little bit about what's going on over here. Yeah, so it looks like you go against one of your friends. Uh, Battle for Possession is what they call it here at Coca-Cola. Um, go through it. Hurry up through the relay race here, make a layup, and then you can uh, get a prize at the end. They're going to have plenty of samples of Coke. Uh, we had some last night, actually, and tried it, so it's a good time here. Come out and come out and stop by. What would you say? I mean, everywhere I look, there's Wilson. You have a court here. I mean, what is your favorite part about all of this? Yeah, our corporate partners put on a great show for the fans, uh, provide them tons of swag, like I keep saying, and, and all these free giveaways and opportunities. Uh, I don't have a favorite in particular. I think it's just to see other people interact with it. I have my nephew in town. I can't wait to see his face light up when he walks in and just interact and have a great time. I'm here. And I think that's what I love so much about the big dance is it's really about the kids. I mean, they may be in college, but it's about the players that are kids, if you think about it. And then we have a bunch of kiddos here because of the Reed program. Reed to the Final Four, they're celebrating that right now, and then we'll go down to uh, Reese's Final Four and do the same thing over there. So a great opportunity to get those kids, uh, you know, encourage them to read and, you know, reward them for doing so. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to play ball here at Final Four Fan Fest, and we are just getting started. And here's the thing. Are you looking to make some extra cash? Absolutely. I mean, aren't we all? Yeah. Here in H-Town, you can make some extra cash this weekend. Find out how from our friends at Airbnb. So I originally started back in 2011. I was living in Boston, and we had a room for rent, or we had a spare room. And, you know, of course, as anybody, you can always use a little extra money. So we opted to put it up on Airbnb and really quickly kind of got excited at how that traction went on for a few months. And then fast forward in 2014, I moved here to Texas. I was working the oil field that collapsed and found myself needing some extra revenue. So I had a spare bedroom and a bathroom to put up that I was inside my own home and started that and it, now off very eight years here later. Uh, I think it's very important if you do list your property, you know, uh, to set clear expectations about what you're offering, uh, as well as to make sure that you ask, you know, good questions, uh, like what brings them to the area, if they can have any visitors, you know, these things try to set a really good precedence into understanding if it's a good fit and uh, as well as just keeping safety in mind as well. A lot of people that I've heard that have jumped in, even just during compression events like this, have been able to pack up their home and offer their place during big events like this. This allows them to use that money to go travel or stay with family and save that money, uh, maybe paying off some bills or even doing improvements on their home. Airbnb is a very keen in educating both new 
and uh, as well as existing hosts. They have uh, Airbnb meetups. They have Airbnb Facebook groups where, again, hosts can talk about anything from problems they're having to, you know, tips on how to take and improve and enhance their listings. Uh, they also have a really deep resource center, and they also do weekly. Uh, they do also do weekly meetings in which you can jump in as a prospective new host and just ask questions and be able to go through that and answer any kind of concerns that you may have. You can just go to Airbnb.com and right there it'll walk you through the process on setting your property up. You can't escape justice. She was gonna get me. What'd you do? I hear it. <laughs> Judge Mattis. Next on CW39 Houston. What makes best reviews the best reviews? They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to get reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. Call that a plasma sword? So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. <laughs> For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. Negligent drivers cause accidents that hurt innocent people every day. Don't pay the price for medical bills and property damage that was caused by another's irresponsible behavior. Bocarum Law is one of the nation's premier personal injury law firms. With over 25 years of experience battling insurance companies to get innocent accident victims the compensation they deserve. Call 24-7 at 713-900-2222. Call for your free consultation. You pay nothing unless they win. Call 713-900-2222. 713-900-2222. Whether you're signing up for Medicare for the first time or looking for a plan that provides the coverage, benefits, and savings you really need, I've got exciting news for you. Kelsey Care Advantage is the local plan that gives you more. While original Medicare covers hospital and medical insurance, Kelsey Care Advantage covers prescription drugs, comprehensive dental, vision and hearing, over-the-counter allowances, worldwide emergency care, and much more all at no additional cost. Speaking of costs, how about zero costs for monthly premiums, primary care copays, and drug deductibles? Best of all, you can see any doctor even out of our network. No wonder we're ranked Texas' best Medicare Advantage plan. Get more without paying more. Enroll in Kelsey Care Advantage today. Call 713-442-7924. That's 713-442-7924. Before the race comes the journey. This is the Indianapolis 500. CW and Vice present a new series. It's time to bring the action. Following the drivers and teams headed for the greatest spectacle in racing. Here we go. The sweat. Wow. The suspense. This could change everything. And if they're lucky, the speed. Everybody, you just want the Indy 500. 100 Days to Indy. Documentary series premieres Thursday, April 27th on The CW. Well, welcome back to Final Four Fan Fest. Let me tell you, it's like a big pep rally is going on behind me because there is read to the Final Four. This is a cool program that they have been doing. As you can see, you can experience this. And there's also Chad's wandering around showing everything else that we have as well. But I'm with some very special guests now. Holly, introduce yourself. I'm Holly Kesterson, the president of the local organizing committee for this year's Final Four. This is amazing. And then we have some very important players in this read to the Final Four. So introduce yourself. What grade are you in? The grade. And what's your name? Tuck. What about you? Um, I'm in third grade and my name's Aviana. I'm in third grade and my name's Camila. Okay, so tell us a little bit about these readers and all of the other readers. So we've been so excited to have the read to the final four here and we are down to our final four schools and we're gonna hear who our winner is today. And so that's why we're here celebrating who's gonna get crowned champion. So how many hours have these kids been reading and how many districts participated? It's been amazing. So we have 11 school districts in total, close to 39,000 kiddos participated across the board. And these guys put in 60 million minutes in total reading. Oh my gosh. So why was it so fun for you to participate in this? Because it was just fun. What's your favorite type of thing to read? Do you have a favorite book? No. no. I like all books. You like all books? That's great. And what about you? What is your favorite book that you've read? Um, let's see. 
Babysitter's Club. I love the Babysitter's Club so much. And is reading fun? Would you tell all the kids at home they should be reading? You should be reading. It's fun. It is. What's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. You're smart. And what about you? What is your favorite book that you read? I like to wear my weird school. You do. And do you have a favorite subject in school? Uh, reading. Reading's your favorite subject. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a dancer. You want to be a dancer? I mean, are you dancing along to all of this music? Yeah, exactly. And what about you? What do you want to be? Um, I am a cheerleader. You are? Can you show me something? Okay, okay. she's gonna show. Here we go. She's actually gonna show us something. This is live TV. We've got a cheerleader in the house. Watch out, everybody. Woo! That's... Do you know that I am almost 40 years old and I cannot do a car wheel? Would you teach me later? Okay, this is so exciting. I have to ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a police officer. You do? That's amazing. So hearing these kids, I don't know about you, but it really warms my heart. Why is this so important to do? This is what it's about. We love big events here in Houston, but at the end of the day, it's how do you leverage those big events to make an impact here? And these kids are our legacy. And so being able to give back in some way, and especially through literacy, it's really important. And I heard some really cool prizes that are going to be awarded. So how did you pick the final school? So it's all about reading. How many minutes were you able to put in so they get to compete, read as much as they can, get excited about reading, and they get to win. Now, are they going to do this throughout the final fours, even when it's not here in Houston? How can we get involved? So in 2016, this program was actually created here in Houston when the final four was here, and it's been at every final four, men's and women's, since then, and it will continue on. I have to say, this is probably my favorite part. Do you guys have a favorite team that you're cheering on? Um, I don't, I forgot the name, but they're, uh, they're with the two Cougars over there. Oh, okay. Um, uh, my favorite team is the Crosby Cougars, the cheerleaders. Hey, what about you? I don't have a favorite. You don't have, you like everybody, right? All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for being on TV with me. You're the real MVPs, and thank you for reading and encouraging other kids at home to read. Holly, thanks for all that you do. I really appreciate thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So I have to say, it is exciting here. It is electric. Look at all these kids. You know, I wish you were out here. I'm sure you're having some serious FOMO in the Weather Center. 100%. And I just want to tell those kids, you guys are such great examples. 60 million minutes? Man. I know. They're giving you a round of applause. Yay! In the studio. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> and cartwheels. I mean, come on. I know. She's amazing. All right, Maggie, and I do expect you to do a cartwheel when I get back on Monday. Yeah? I'll try. <laughs> She's going to try and teach me. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, you take some time. We've Here got we something go. to A patient-friendly home dialysis device that helps patients regain control of their lives. David Rush is one of those patients, and he is joining us to tell us his story. Good morning, David. Good morning. found out you had kidney disease and how this journey has impacted your lifestyle and even your music career? Well, you know, the way everything is, people need to know exactly what kidney disease is. It's pretty much the breaking down of the tissue in your kidney that kind of helps you get out the impurities once you eat and drink daily. And when you lose that, it kind of starts to poison your own blood. So what dialysis does in a sense is kind of take that blood, cleans it for you, and cycles it back to your, to your bloodstream clean and kind of gets off some of the fluid intake that you get as well. That journey for me started in 10th grade with just a routine um, checkup for football. It was a lot of protein in my urine. Fast forward with a specialist to start scarring on the tissues with a biopsy. And fast forward again to having to get on dialysis. And the way that impacted me is just taking a lot of time away, a lot of normalcy away from my life that I had, not being able to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it now that I had this newfound thing I had to fight. And especially for music, being able to travel and do long sets of studio work and stuff, it kind of took that away from me. Um, but I'm still happy to be here to share the journey about it. Wow. So now let's go back to talking about dialysis. What do people need to understand about the rigors of dialysis? What they need to understand is that it's taxing on the body, but it's also taxing on the mind. You know, you, you think about all the things you have to go through and you feel like you're kind of holding your family back with all the time that you lose. You know, you start to be in center, especially in center. You know, it saved my life for a long time. You're there three days a week for an extensive amount of time, between three to five hours. I was doing five hours 
it actually adds up to about 18 hours, 20 hours a week, which is like a part-time job. So your schedule and your freedom, you know, your independence is kind of lost. Your normalcy is kind of lost. Um, luckily, I've been able to get some of that back with doing tablet at home, like the home dialysis machine that I use at home to do my dialysis here. So that normalcy of having my own schedule and my own freedom of deciding when I'm going to do dialysis and letting my family hear more yeses than noes has been helpful for me physically and mentally. Wow, 20 hours. So can you tell me a little bit more of the experience you're having with this new system for home dialysis? Yes, I'm using the Tableau dialysis system at home. It's basically kind of similar to the dialysis machine you will see in center, but a little bit smaller, a little bit less vigorous on the body. I do do it more frequently at home as well. And it basically, you know, acts as a kidney for me as I clean at home and, you know, in the comfort of my own house. Um, it, it's definitely helped me. I've been on it for a few years now. And it's something that's just a part of my everyday life now and, and helps me to navigate through this journey of, you know, having CKB. So where can people go to hear more about your journey and find more information on Tableau? Definitely. You can go to TableauHomeNow.com. That's TableauHomeNow.com to get way more information. And also talk to your doctor. And don't be afraid to ask questions. There's no wrong question. So actually ask questions to your doctor disease, get the information you can, and visit TableauHomeNow.com to get more information about home dialysis. Thank you so much, David, for sharing your Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, let's move on to this. When searching for the right prenatal care, make sure you keep this in mind. Maggie sat down with an expert from Community Health Network, and this is what she says. Take it from me, pregnancy, it can be overwhelming on its own, so finding the right prenatal care should not be another stress factor. Well, luckily, joining me today is Heidi Soto with Community Health Network to tell us more about their services. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Of course, thank you for having me. I always love having you guys on the show because you make me feel at ease. So we were just talking about oral and dental health yes. while pregnant. I told you. When I brush my teeth, pregnant, I brush, don't worry, <laughs> I get sick from my morning yes. sickness. So tell us how important it is though to get that dental. Yes, so during pregnancy, you're more at risk for certain oral health problems. Um, so this can also lead to pregnancy complications like premature birth. So it's super important to get your dental health while you're pregnant. Now, a lot of people worry though, Having a baby is expensive. Yes. And they worry about the cost of care. So how are you guys different than everybody else? Yeah, so we accept all insurances. Uh, we accept Medicaid, Medicare, um, pregnancy, CHIP, and others. And if you have questions about a certain insurance, you can always give us a call and we can let you know if you're in network. So besides oral health, well, what else do you do for mothers that are expecting? Yes, so we have all services. We have um, prenatal uh, medical services, um, of course the dental and also behavioral health services. I think that's important too, yes, especially after you have the baby, you guys yes. are there for us as well. Because once you have that baby, you're like, oh no. And a lot of people deal with postpartum depression. Yes. So it's great that you guys are there throughout our entire pregnancy. And then you can take our kids to see you yes. too. Here's the thing, you guys are doing a raffle. Tell me about yes, this. Yes, it's super exciting. So all new patients can enter to win an electric toothbrush or a car seat. All you have to do is book and attend a dental or prenatal appointment and you're automatically entered into the raffle. You can call us at the number below at our website or you can scan the QR code on the screen. Okay, that is really exciting because both of those are expensive. You can get a car seat? You sure can. Oh my goodness. So for all of the moms out there, yes. why would you tell them to come to see you guys? Yeah, so like we talked about, it's super important, um, especially because the bacteria that causes cavities can be passed down to your baby. So whenever you're kissing on baby, sharing utensils, spoons, stuff like that, you can transfer that bacteria to your baby. Um, and so the baby would be at higher risk for getting cavities whenever their teeth start to erupt. So how soon can we make an appointment? Is there a long wait or can we get in right away? No, you can get in right away, yes. Right. So the sooner that you call in a day, the more likely we are to be able to get you in whenever you want to be seen. And you can get in on that raffle, which is yes. so exciting. Trust me, you want to get all of the perks and freebies that you can. Well, yes. thank you as always. It's priceless having you guys on my show and thank you for what you're doing for our community. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I have a busted bracket and here at Final Four Fan Fest, they have the busted bracket bar. You can step in 
for a timeout. So much fun to be had here, including Haircuts Live. Stay tuned for more Houston Happens. A short while ago, an injured worker left me a message that said, you probably won't call me back, I'm just a nobody. Those words stunned me and I called him right back. Nobody's a nobody and no one deserves a better firm than you. After my brother Tim's accident, I set out to build an injury firm my own family would hire. And today, as America's largest injury firm, there is no other firm I would hire. All law firms are not the same. There's only one you, there's only one Morgan & Morgan. With Allegra, we live life our way. Allergies don't hold us back. Allegra starts working two times faster than Claritin. And unlike Zyrtec, it won't make us drowsy. Allegra lasts all day, up to six times longer than Benadryl. Allegra gives you the fastest, non-drowsy 24-hour allergy relief, so you can live your greatness. With two boys, I know about suspicious odors. But Centerpoint Energy taught me something important. If I smell rotten eggs, it might be a gas leak. I should leave on foot immediately and call both Centerpoint Energy and 911 from a safe location. I also never store flammables like paint or gasoline near my natural gas appliances. With expert natural gas tips, Centerpoint Energy is committed to helping you keep your family safe. Centerpoint Energy. We were rear-ended. Everything happened just so fast. Calling Terry Bryan was just way lifted off her shoulders. From then on, they took care of everything. They just telling us right away, get yourself taken care of, don't worry about anything else. That just made us feel great. I feel like I was part of a family. They made me feel like they knew me. I would definitely recommend them. My name is Josai, and Terry Bryan stood up for me. Call 713-973-8888, 713-973-8888. Live Golf kicked off its first U.S. event with intensity and drama. Oh, Danny Lee has tasted glory already! After Danny Lee's playoff stunner and Fireball's podium celebration powered by passion, the game's best turn their focus to Orlando and Orange County National, where a season-long battle for the only professional team championship in golf continues. Coverage begins Friday on the CW app. Watch live Saturday and Sunday at 1 Eastern. On my show, it's always 100% real. I mean, we have some moments that are unforgettable. You had 216,000 interactions, all romantic in nature. The truth hurts, but you still have to hear it. Karamo, today at 12 on CW39 Houston. And before we get to all the festivities, here is a look at today's sponsored content. And I am having so much fun out here at Final Four Fan Fest. Let's see if I can make this shot. One hand and... Whoa, whoa, gotta protect the money maker, right? At least I caught the ball, my husband will be kind of impressed. But no, here's the thing, we're playing around, but we're not playing around when it comes to security. Seth Kovar, he actually has more outside NRG Stadium. Maggie, this is actually kind of a dream come true for me. I've been obsessed with the NCAA basketball tournament ever since I was a kid, filling out the brackets, cheering for upsets as long as they didn't include Texas on the losing end. But here we are in NRG Stadium that's been transformed into a basketball arena. There's going to be more than 70,000 people inside here tomorrow and then again for the national championship game on Monday. As you can hear, they got the sound system cranked, and that's because there's a youth wheelchair league doing drills on the court right now, a court that, Maggie, you were the first one in Houston to get to see and show our viewers last Friday something you could only see on Houston Happens and on CW39 Houston, this raised stage. It's like they're on a, a platform, really, that where the court's going to be, the game's going to be played tomorrow and then again on Monday. So a kind of a scary spectacle when players might be almost falling off of this thing. Hopefully that will not be the case. But let me show you one more thing real quickly. The scoreboard that they have brought in for this tournament, normally it's not quite as big here at NRG, but up there at the top, do you see that? That is a big deal. There's lots of support cables running from the ceiling here to NRG. And uh, when you transform a arena this large into a basketball arena, it comes with some challenges. They have some temporary stands over on the side because if you just put the court in the middle, you really wouldn't have any kind of sight lines at all. But there are some uh, court level seats back here where the students are gonna be and the bands. So really it's awesome to see the transformation. And it's awesome to see this Final Four, a very unique one at that. Two number five seeds, San Diego State and Miami. UConn, a four seed, and then the number nine seed at Florida Atlantic. The semifinals tomorrow, and then the finals on Monday. 
Very exciting times here at NRG Stadium. As far as prediction goes, I'm no expert by any means, but uh, the Miami Hurricanes did knock off both the Houston Cougars and the Texas Longhorns. I think they get through, and then that Florida Atlantic team seems so hot, so maybe that'll be the international championship. Who prevails? We will find out Monday nights, but good times here at NRG. Do avoid this area, though, if you don't want to be in traffic. It's going to be very, very busy. Back to you. All right, thank you for that, Seth. Here's the thing. I am so excited. You should just send your husbands or boyfriends, ladies, down here to Final Four Fan Fest because guess what? We have great clips here. They can actually get a haircut here after they go over to the Busted Bracket Bar. I'm here with Yvonne. What are you guys doing down here? You know, we are the official hair salon of the NCAA and March Madness, and we are giving free haircuts away. Wait, free? Free haircuts all weekend for women, men, children, anybody can come and get a free haircut, get a fresh haircut, and for the kids or adults, we are having crazy hair, so they can get their hair sprayed in their team logo colors. We have a example over oh. here. You can get a basketball on your head. You can get a getting a you know, basketball. Yeah, you can get a basketball. We've got all kinds of fun colors. <laughs> Kids love it. You can put your name on the wait list, and we'll let you know when it's your turn. You can go across the row here and have a beer if you want yeah. at the Rusty Bucket. The <laughs> I think this is great, definitely. And I have to ask. How do you like your hair? Did you see the final? Look at that. Oh, it's, well, you know, my hair's so light, it shines perfectly right there, though. I, I absolutely great. love it. What team are you rooting for? Well, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, so we're, we root for the underdog, so I got to root for the Owls. Okay, what about you? Well, my team isn't in anymore. I'm from Houston, so I'm rooting for anybody that wins. Yes, well, you're already a winner. I mean, look at how cool this is. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much. Unfortunately, we got to cut it out. I know, I had to, I had to. You guys know I love my puns. But here's the thing, we are having so much fun out here at Final Four Fan Fest. If you have any questions about anything, don't worry, I got you covered on our website, CW39.com. Just click the Houston Happens tab. In the meantime, I'm gonna go work on my game. I mean, I've got other game, but I do not have game when it comes to sinking in the basket. Hopefully, you guys aren't too embarrassed by me out there. But it is such a fun weekend. Please be safe out there, be responsible. One shining moment that's on Monday, but right now it's our moment, Houston. Let's do it. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.